Bit of a different video this morning, folks. As you know, last week my grinder crapped out on me. Well, luckily for you and me, we've just had a YouTube AdSense payment. So what we're going to do is nip across to Tool Station and to Screwfix and pick up all the grinders that they have for under £30 and we're going to give them a once over. I think in total there's about six, so it's like battle of the grinders. But I'm obviously not going to destroy them because I want to use them as well. So let's review them. Right, driving back to Retford from Workshop, I've been to both Tool Station and Screwfix, and we are heavy for grinders. Right, welcome along to the battle of the grinders. Today we've got Screwfix, which are on this side, well, sort of, versus Tool Station. Now, we are battling for the best budget grinder on the market. Tool Station do offer another one, so there are three in each range. Actually, there's four in the Tool Station range and three in the Screwfix range, I believe, but some of them weren't in stock in my local store. So what we've got here in front of us is the cheapest of the cheap, from Screwfix, with the, we have the Energy 850 watt 23.99. That's what it costs us from Screwfix. And then on top of that, we've got the Titan, which is 24.99. A pound more expensive. These are today's Screwfix offerings. In all fairness, I've been using this one for about a month now. Kind of like it. And over on this side, we've got the good, the bad, and I imagine the ugliest. So we're going to start with the budget one at £21.98. This Draper uh, 600 watt grinder is really the low end of the spectrum from Tool Station. Then we have an 820 watt grinder for £28.98 from Tool Station. And then keeping it below 30 quid, which was my specification, £29.98. This is the Einhell grinder from Tool Station. It's not going to be a death match. We're not going to kill these grinders, but what we are going to do is see how they work, have a look at things such as cord length, ergonometry, ergonomic, how it feels in the end, and basically uh, if these feel like they're going to stand up to a barrage of abuse. And then what I'm going to do is put them into use for the next six months, and we'll revisit this video then. But you just have to hit the subscribe button if you want to come back for that one. Okay, first off we're going to start with the low end of the market. This is the 600 watt angle grinder, £21.98 from Tool Station. It's the Draper model. This one does not come with a carry case. It's simply loose in the box. So we've got an Allen key, I can only assume, for taking off the protective guard, so there's no manual adjustment there, no quick release adjustment there. Another Allen key, so they've sent us two Allen keys. We've got the instruction manual, I don't know what you'd need that for. And of course, the key to undo the chuck. It feels small, light, compact, quite steady actually. So if we quickly throw in a grinding wheel, give her the old spark test. Definitely lightweight, easy to throw around this one. But yeah, there's number one. Now a step up to £28.98. This is the 820 watt Draper angle grinder. Again from Tool Station. We've got no carry case. Feels very similar. Very similar indeed. The difference being we have a quick release blade guard. Not too good. Not too good really. Three positions for the handle to go into. Same things in the bag. Uh, no Allen keys with this one. Man instructions. Chuck key, if you like. Cable. 
You get a bit more cable with this one. We've probably got closer to two and a half meters on that one. Very, very similar switch. I think it's almost the same size as the previous model. No, no, it is actually bigger. It is actually bigger. So you can see the size difference there. I've just turned it on and it smells like electric. Definitely got a lot more bite. That one is definitely a big brother. And then finally from the tool station range, we've got the Einhell. This bad boy comes in at 29.98. This is all including vodka and tonic. Again, no carry case. Safety instructions. Extensive safety instructions. Nice over molding. Feels much nicer in the hand this one. Nice uh, rubber feel on the extension. Oh, oh look at that. It's even got the old storage in there for the uh, chuck key. I don't think that's going to last very long. Different design on the chuck key as well. Again, quick release with the guard, and it's got a bit of a tightening screw on the back. Pretty good, looks pretty good. Cable, sort of PVC, longest of the lot. This is probably a three meter cable, really good quality. What we've got in terms of wattage here, obviously it's all uh, bullshit. 600 watts of pure spinning power. Let's plug her in and try it out. Oh, nice. Not bad. Bit of a bit of a tricky button. But I think you'll soon get used to that. So there we have your lineup. This is the offering that Toolstation has for its under £30 budget angle grinders. We've got Baby Bear, we've got Mummy Bear, and then we've got Daddy Bear. But even though this feels nicer in the hand, I would probably do that. And have this bad boy, this end, it feels faster and more powerful, even though it's a pound cheaper than that one. So tool station to the side and now we're going to bring in the budget Eniger 850 watt 23 pound 99 screw fix offering. Let's get into it. Again, no carry case with this one. Instructions, I see. We have the, the necessary components to hold on to the bugger. Also, I noticed this one comes with two quick release guards. One of them is really quite thick, I imagine, for using buffing pads and the like. Has an elastic necklace. Handle screws on, it's got a nice rubbery grip, it's not just solid plastic. Also, there's a bit of a nice overmolding on the back here for grippage. The uh, the chuck key, nice stiff spring on there, and the on and off switch. Well, okay. So you have to push sideways and up with this one. I'll take some getting used to. Yeah, so the length of this one, what we got, probably between. A meter and a half to two meters. Let's plug her in. The body feels a little thin on the front there. Right, let's fire her up. Yeah, she's got some power. She feels nice, nice and strong. Pretty pleased with that one. 
And then finally, we have the £24.99 Screw Fix Titan. He comes with a carry case, nice and handy. And as you can see, she's quite well presented in there. So we have magnesium body. Again, this one comes with two guards, a bigger one for probably polishing pads and discs and that kind of stuff. Both are quick release, which is really convenient for me. There's the handle, got a bit of a rubber over molding to her. I have been using this one for a couple of weeks now, actually. She's not skipped a beat and I, uh, I already know that I like this, this particular machine. We'll whiz the front off. The carry case doesn't really do anything extra for me, by the way. It's uh, money spent on the machine would have been more preferable. So this one says it's 750 watts. Again, this is a nice long three meter cable. I really like thumbs up, massive thumbs up for the long cables. We'll plug her in, we'll fire her up. Now I don't know whether it's because she's been worn in or not, but this has got more oomph than the 800 watt Eniger, in my opinion. Slightly bigger body, slightly more streamlined look to the thing. Big holes there, you see. All your grinding schmoo is gonna go straight in there. This one just feels, feels better in the hand. So out of the two from the tool station camp, so far, I'd opt for this one. Screw fix. Out of the two for the screw fix camp, I'd opt for this one. So there we have it guys. That's a brief but inclusive review and comparison of the, the brief but inclusive review and comparison of the tool station versus screw fix grinders. Budget grinders, less than 30 quid. All right, now I've done that, I've got to clean all my mess up. And I'll also be uh, doing my usual trick of taping the, the chuck spanners to the cable of the grinders. I forgot what they were called then. <laughs> Bum 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 bum.